chapter 5 is Jesus' uh, conversation with those uh, people who do not believe in Him. Actually, they are in opposition. Remember my, my message last two weeks ago called Trapistus? He, we are still there. Jesus is conversing with those believe him and and directly opposing him and so here today we continue the Lord's reply to these people who opposes the truth that he shares we are picking up our uh, uh, lesson for today from the, the, the statement of Jesus that he is given authority by the Father. In verse 27, Jesus told the Jewish leaders that the Father gave him authority to execute judgment. So, Jesus is now presenting himself to the Jewish leaders that I am the judge. Jesus is saying this to them. I am the judge. God, the Father, my Father, whom you call your God, appointed me to be the judge of all the earth, of all the people. And, and in verse 28, he says, Marble not. He, he simply means, this should not come to you as a surprise. You should not be surprised. Why? Because this, this authority, you will see this at work. In verse 28 and verse 9, it said, the hour, For the hour is coming in the which all that are in the grave shall hear His voice and shall come forth that they have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. So he is saying here, Jesus, I will be the judge and there will be a people that will be considered good and they will go into the resurrection of life. And there are people who will be considered who will be considered as doing evil or that have that evil and they are going to the resurrection of the nation. So here Jesus is saying that he will be the judge and he will separate people one towards the other. I mean against the other. The 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 first resurrection, there are two kinds. Of resurrection there are two kinds of resurrection I just want to make this clear by the verse that we have uh, read that we just read 28 and 29 of the, uh, chapter, John chapter 5 Jesus is describing or is, is telling us these two kinds of resurrection when I say two kinds I will I, 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 I do give to the to the to the uh, group of people that would be resurrected to life and the people that will be resurrected to damnation. That is the two kind of resurrection that Jesus is revealing to the people. There is this resurrection that all the people will hear his voice because he is the judge. There will come a time that everyone will rise up from the dead. They are coming to all that are in the graves. And, and some will say, but not all are in the graves. Some were burned and they were 
spread in the sea, spread in the wind, or somewhere. Uh, iniwan na lang kung saan sila siguro. Diba? May mga ganun. Especially if we have, we have uh, uh, our Christian brothers. During the time of persecution, they were, how uh, uh, they were burned at the stake. And you, you think they were gathered ba? Yung, yung abo na yun ay kinuha pa? No. Hindi wala lang yun doon. At tinangay na lang ng hangin. And there are those that died or whose, whose bodies were placed in the sea. So, paano sila? Eh sabi, all that are in the graves na, parang lahat ng mga cemetery. Hindi po ganun yan. Ang 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 ibig lang sabihin nito, all that are in the grave, meaning all that are dead. So, lahat ng patay will rise up and they will hear His voice. Hearing the voice of God, they will be resurrected. But, but yun na nga, are, are the people going to be resurrected unto life or unto damnation? And who will be the judge? It's Jesus. That is His authority. That is what He is trying to explain here. He is going to be the judge. Look at verse 20. So it's a verse 20. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. So, It is the Lord who will say who is to go in the resurrection of life and who is to go to the resurrection of the nation. It is dependent upon the Lord, upon Jesus. I want you to realize this because there are people that are saying that, that it is, if you have, it, that is a thing say. Those people that did have done good unto the resurrection of life, have done even unto the resurrection of the nation. So, if you will just need it, just plain reading on the text. And so, niya, eh, gagawa ko na mabuti pa. Sa lang ito pupunta. So, gagawa ko na mabuti. What are the things na naisip niya na mabuti gawin? tutulong ako sa kapwa ko. Magiging mabait ako pa na. Ano pa? Uh, what, what other good things that you can do? Tutulong ako sa nahihira. Oh yes, that is something that really, hindi ito ka. Di ba? O kaya, tingin nyo ngayon, in our country, election is coming, who are who are the ones running? All those people that they say, I have served the people, I have served the poor. Diba? May isa pa nga na nabibigay 500, eh, diba? Ang nakita ko 500, tapos may pagtutin 1,000 kada, kada kamay na, na lalapit sa kanya para patihin siya. 1,000. Pero, kapag February 9, hindi niya na pwede gawin yun. Kasi, ano na eh, election campaign na, officially. Pero sa ngayon, mga panahon ngayon, kung ano-ano sa akin sa akin pinamimigay nila. Diba? Sa amin sa, sa amin sa Pasig, there are those people that are running in, 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 in Pasig uh, Council. Oh, ah, nagkaya na. Tayo po'y magbayanihan. Uh, Tayo ang mga pasigenyo. May nasunugan po tayo ang kapit bahay. Tayo ay magtulong-tulong para sila ay magkaroon ng, uh, ano, ng bahay nila. So, yun siya na kanda ko. Tumutulong ako sa mga nasunugan. Kaya, diba? 
And that's what we did. Oh, dahil ko po, I did a good thing. Sa langit ako pupunta. Pagkatapos na ako'y mabuhay dito sa lupa, pag ako'y namatay, pag umakot ako ng muli, sa langit ako pupunta, I did good. Ganun ba yun? Hindi pili ko mabait naman ako eh. Mas mabait ako sa kanila. Pili ko mas mabait ako sa inyong lahat. Pili ko ba ako pinakamabait sa lahat ng, ng kamag-anak ko eh. Ay, sa amin sa Pasig ako pinakamabait. Uh, alam niya, yun, feeling ko yun. Pero yun ba ang basis? Feeling mo? Feeling ko? Yung nagawa ko o binagawa ko, yun ba ang basis? Yun ba yung good na sinasabi ni, ni Jesus dito? No. No. That is not the good that is being said there. Ano yung good dyan? The good here that would make us be a part of the resurrection of life. The good thing is you go back to, to John chapter 3. What is the good thing that we can do? Balikan niyo po. John chapter 3. Verse 15, that whosoever believe, believe it, in him should not perish but have, ever, have, have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So what is the good being considered here? Because something niya, the first thirty. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. This is how I will do my judgment. My judgment is not because I seek not my own will. It is not what I want. Jesus said, it's not what I will. Oh, it's not my own will. But the will of the Father which hath sent me. So, ang, uh, ang, uh, ang, uh, ang, uh, ang, uh, standard or the law for the judge kasi ang judge meron niyang may kanyang batas niya yung judge ay may panuntunan na sinusunod and Jesus as the judge of the whole world may panuntunan siya ang panuntunan niya ay simple lang kung ano ang kalooban ng aking ama yun ang aking Gagawin. At yun ang aking pan pamantayan. The will of the Father. And what is the will of the Father? The will of the Father is this. That we believe in Him who He has sent. For God so loved the world. Fathers so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believed in Him. That is what God wants. That we believe on His only begotten Son. If we believe in Him. We will not be condemned. If we believe not in Him, we will be condemned. So, what is the good? That is being said in verse 29. The good there is that we believe in Him. So, the judgment of the Lord Jesus Christ will be this. Those people that believed on me, they will be considered good or having that good. And to them, their resurrection will be a resurrection of life. But to them that believe not on the Son of God, who do not believe that He was sent by the Father, they will be condemned. Their resurrection will be a resurrection unto damnation. That is plain. That is what 
Jesus is telling us here. And so now, he is the judge and he anticipates the people that he is talking to or the people that he, 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 he was talking to are going to oppose him for, for, for why are you saying these things? Tetestigo ko para sa'yo sa sarili dito o ang tawag nga rin sa Tagalog binubuhat mo ang sarili mong bangko yan sa Tagalog binubuhat mo nga ang iyong sarili ng sariling bangko pinupuhin mo ang sarili mo o patutuo mo lang sa sarili mo yan bakit ka namin paniniwalaan here is now the transition Verse 31, If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. So Jesus anticipated his, his uh, uh, opponents in that I know you will question my, my, my words that I am the judge. And I think indeed I am the judge. And I know you will not believe me, but I am not speaking of myself. It is not a witness of myself. But there is someone that witness for my authority. That is his point here. He says, if I witness of myself, my witness is not true. So, so para inaayunan ni, ni Cristo Jesus yung kanyang mga uh, oppositionist, kumbaga. Yung kanya mga opposition, yung mga hindi naniniwala sa kanya. Then sabi, eh, nagsasalit, nagsasalita ka lang sa iyong sarili. So, hindi ka pa panipaniwala. And so, Jesus says, yes, hindi nga ako pa panipaniwala kung ako ay nagsasalita lang ng sa aking sarili. Sa aking ganang sarili. But, Verse 32, There is another that bear witness of me, and I know that the witness which he, wit uh, he witnesses of me is true. Pain to be testigo para sa akin, at alam ko yung kanyang testigo, ay totoo. And this opposition is looking, are you pertaining to John? Are you pertaining to John? Si John ba sinasabi mo na tumatay yung testigo para sa iyong pagiging ikaw ang, 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 ang judge that you are the Christ? Jesus said, I received not the testimony from man. So now, balikan natin ngayon. Si John dito, this is not saying that John is set aside. No. But, mayroong kasi ginagawa ang Panginoon. He is, as, as we can see in verse 36, sabi niya, I have a greater witness than of John. He is, not, he is not setting aside the witness or the testimony of John. Hindi niya yung sinasabing, hindi walang kwenta si John. No, no, far from it. It's just that God is saying he has greater testimony than the testimony of John. And John, and, and God, God the Son, Jesus Christ, is not going to use John as one of his witness. Kumbaga sa, kumbaga sa korte, hindi ko iaharap sa inyo si John bilang testigo ko. Kasi tao yung kagaya nyo. And all of us, all of us, meron tayo, ano, meron tayong paghinaan. Diba? And John cannot really stand na, na without a doubt. And remember, si John, when he was in prison, he needed, he doubted Jesus Christ. He needed assurance. Nagpadala siya ng disipulo niya. He says, ask Jesus if he was the one that we are waiting for or we have to wait for some, someone else. Diba? Pinatanong niya yun. Pinapuntahan niya si Jesus. Tanungin niyo nga si Jesus Christo. Si Jesus. 
So, siya nga ba yung Kristo na hinihintay ko o maghihintay pa ako ng iba? So, that was all men uh, are, are weak even John the Baptist who is the greatest among men, sabi ni Jesus Christ he has his moments of doubts and so, sabi niya, I am not presenting to you John I mean, this is what his intention is I'm not going to present to you John as a witness in my behalf. But, but yes, he is a witness. And sabi pa nga ng Panginoon dyan, verse 25, He was a burning and shining light and we were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. For a season, you were rejoicing in his light. Yung mga, yung mga kausap niya ng mga Jewish leaders, they could not ignore the, 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 the testimony of, of John the Baptist. Because the people considered John the Baptist as a prophet. And even the, even the, the religious leaders says, okay, John, John the Baptist is from God. None of the Jewish leaders can oppose, uh, will oppose that. They accept John as a prophet. They just can't believe that John is pointing to Jesus Christ. And they cannot accept Jesus Christ. They cannot accept Jesus Christ. And so Jesus is saying, He is not my, my witness. But there is a greater witness of my authority. Now, God, Jesus Christ is now presenting. Who is His witness? This is His first witness. In verse 36, But I have greater witness than that of John. For the works which the Father had given me to finish, the same work that I do, bear witness of me that the Father had sent me. The first witness that Jesus is presenting of His authority coming from the Father is His own work. The work that Jesus is doing. When, when John sent his disciple to Jesus and, said, and asked Him if He is the Christ or we, we are we have to wait for somebody else, Jesus did not answer the disciples directly, yes, I am the Christ, and you don't have to wait for another else, uh, any, uh, uh, anyone else. Just, just, just tell John that I am the Christ. Hindi yung mga sinabi ni Jesus. What did Jesus tell to the disciples of John? Tell this to John. The blind see, the lame walk, the mute was able to hear, and the gospel is preached. Because those are the things that Jesus did. Or those are the things that Jesus was doing at the time. He, he was healing the sick. He was making the blind see. He was making the lame to walk. Remember, yung, yung, yung pinag-umpisahan ng discourse na ito, di ba? The invalid man by the, the full of Bithrida was asked by the Lord Jesus to, to, to pick up his bed and walk. Oh. oh, the Lord Jesus Christ, the work that he is doing, that is a testimony, that is a witness for his authority that God has given that, that, that authority to be the judge. He will be the one to say who will go to heaven and who will be damned. Siya ang binigyan ng Diyos ng kapangyarihan. At ang patunay dyan ay hindi yung sinasabi ni John. Bagamat sinabi ni John, Behold the Lamb of God. It's a good thing. John, the, 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 the author of the gospel that we are studying, heard him say that. 
together with Andrew. And, and John and Andrew called their brothers. And they followed Jesus Christ. For a moment. They believed John. That's a shining light also for the disciples. But Jesus, having done the miracles and having preached the gospel to the people, the disciples realized this is the Son of God because of what He is doing. And, and, and later on we will know the greater, the ultimate work of Jesus Christ. His sacrifice on the cross and the empty tomb. He died on the cross to pay for our sin and He rose from the dead to assure us of life. That is the ultimate work that Jesus has done and that is testifying to His authority as the judge. Second testimony, second uh, witness that Jesus is presenting is the Father Himself. The Father Himself. The second witness of Jesus is saying to the opposers, you question my authority, my Father whom you hold, God is the one that sent me. He said, John chapter 5 verse 27, And the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. He hath borne witness of me. What he he is doing the miracles that he is doing and the very words that he is preaching, he is telling to the people are not his words those are the words of the father those are the words of the father and he is just speaking it to us, to the people and the words that he is doing is done by the father through him That is what he had borne witness of me means. The word the Father is working in me. I am able to, to open this blind man's eye because the Father did it through me. He bore witness of me. And when and when and when the, the Lord Jesus Christ asked, Father glorify me. Glorify thy name. And then the Father answered him. I, I glorified it and I will glorify it again. But the people around him heard a thunder, not a voice, just a thunder. And, and, and Jesus told the disciples that you heard that to, to, to let you know that the Father recognizes my authority. And, and, and this is what the Lord Jesus Christ is saying to them. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor see his sheep. He's like telling to them, can you, can you draw me the face of the Father? Do you know his sheep? Have you heard his voice? They did not. And they cannot say that. But Jesus, who is from the bosom, who, who is with the Father, he is in the bosom of the Father. Some is the scripture. So, balikan natin again to Genesis. Ah, sorry, Genesis. Go back again to, to John chapter 1. It's all there. The very beginning. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, with the Father. And He is in the bosom of the Father. So, He knew the Father intimately. He knew it. For the lack of a better word, personally. 
nakikita, nakikita niya ang Ama, bukas ang Ama. Tayo, hindi natin makikita. But no one can see the Father in Him, sabi nga sa Scripture. Cannot see His face. Pero siya, kita niya. And that is saying that He is equal with the Father and that, that the Father is testifying of Him. So, the Father is the next witness for the authority of Jesus. The last is John chapter 5 verse 29. Search the scriptures, says. Search the scriptures. Oh, but before we go to verse 39, look at verse uh, 38. After saying, you, know, you, you do not hear his voice, you haven't heard his voice and uh, and then neither seen his shape. And ye have not his word abiding in you. For whom he has sent, him ye believe not. What is Jesus saying here? You know the scriptures, but the, 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 the word of the scripture is not abiding in you. Meaning, you do not know the scripture. You, you do not know it by heart. And so, he is telling them, search the scripture. For in them you think you have eternal life. This is what you are teaching the people. You will have eternal life through the scripture. This is how you will go to heaven. Through the scriptures. But what is Jesus saying here? And they are they which testify of me. It is not just doing the work, following the law. Because you cannot, none of us can do all the law. We cannot. We fail. But there is one who did not. And the scripture is pointing to him. What, what, what is the scripture? So, the scripture is the Bible. But uh, when Jesus was talking to the to the the, the, the uh, Jewish leaders, he was the scripture that they have there was the Old Testament. The, the five books or the Torah, the five books of Moses, the, the writings of the, the prophets, major and minor prophets, and the Psalms, the writings, or the, 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 the Proverbs, the Psalms, and the Ecclesiastes. So, that is the whole Old Testament. That is Jesus saying, Go, go, read, read, read the words of the Lord. Read the scriptures. You know what Moses? He was speaking of me. You read, you read Joshua? He was speaking of me. You, you, you have seen, you have, you have mastered Isaiah? Isaiah. Look, he is pointing at me. Jesus is saying this. All of these prophets, they are speaking about me. It, it was me they are talking about. Jesus is declaring to the Jewish people, the people that you trusted, your faith, their work, is about me. The scripture is about Jesus. That is what he is saying. So, the Lord's authority is cannot be questioned by the opposition because it's, it stands on the very foundation of what they believe. 
the scriptures and they believe on the Father and they cannot question they cannot question what Jesus has done because they saw the lame man walking in their, front, in their, in their presence so they cannot question these testimonies uh, these witnesses and they, they, and, and they cannot ignore this this testifies that Jesus indeed is the judge of all the earth that he has the authority that he is the Lord so when we come to, to witness to people to declare the gospel to them we should come it's, it's good that we have our personal testimonies to, to share them but but to, 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 to declare them the gospel we should be aware that Jesus is his lordship is testified by the father by the scriptures and by the very work of the Lord himself the ultimate work as I said is the cross the, 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 the cross and the empty tomb that is what we should be telling people we should not we should not uh, uh, forget these truths kasi minsan natatangay tayo well, ako ba dati ako mali dati ako manginito pero binago ako ng Panginoon hindi na ako adik ngayon di na ako manginigang ngayon. Dati makasalanan ako. Ngayon, di na ako makasalanan. But somehow, alam niyo, again, what did the Lord say? I did not, I do not receive the testimony of men. And, and John, in his greatness, sabi nga ng Panginoon, walang, walang mas gagaling pa kay John in all the people sa area na lang eh. Pero, sabi ng Panginoon, I do not, uh, I do not receive the testimony of men. Hindi, hindi, hindi yun ang, ano, hindi yun ang malalang patunay ng aking kapangyarihan. Ang patunay ng aking kapangyarihan, ng aking pagiging Panginoon, ng aking pagiging huko, alahatol ng mundo ay ang aking ginawa ang aking ginawa sa kalbari ang kanyang, ang, ang, ang kanyang ginawa nang siya'y humangon sa mga paray yan ang patutuo sa kapangyarihan ni Yesu Cristo ang ama na kumilos sa, 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 sa kanyang anak yan ang patutuo ng kadakilaan ni Cristo Yesus ang, ang, ang salita ng Diyos yan ang patutuo na ang Diyos ang Panginoon si Cristo Yesus siya ang Panginoon ng Diyos takalun tayo sa ibang ibang uh, aklat ng Panginoon pero I would like to post this uh, sa isang sulat ni Pablo sabi niya every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is that one day will come kahit yung mga hindi na nangyipalataya kay Christ Jesus they will come they too will bow their knees sila na sa ayon nila sa gusto lunuhod at sasabihin nila si Kristo ang Panginoon We, uh, we, 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 let us come to the Lord with this confidence now we have witnessed we have we accept the testimony of, of your witnesses Lord we, we accept the testimony of your work the testimony of the Father and the testimony of the Scripture and and, and, and 
let us make this uh, decision that every time we go out and share the gospel, make those witnesses be the, the basis yung ating yung mga testigo ito ni Kristo yun ang dalhin natin sa kanila huwag lang yung ating patuto let's follow our hands in it Heavenly Father we thank you for the truths that you have revealed to us today that there are witnesses of your glory and that is the scripture the Father himself and the very work that you have done especially on the cross and on the heaven. We, we thank you Lord for this truth and we praise you for, for this amazing work that you have done in our lives. We thank you for declaring to us this uh, glorious truth and may this be a foundation of our faith. We come to you, Lord, thankfulness in Christ's most precious name. Amen. Magandang makali po sa inyong lahat. Salamat sa pakikinig sa salita ng Panginoon. We are now listening.